Hello and welcome to this no fee yoga sequence. This class is designed to be injury friendly. So if you have a foot or an ankle injury, this flow is designed for you. I do recommend having a pillow or a blanket, anything soft like that on side so that you can support yourself throughout the class. And other than that, just have fun with it. The class is designed to show you that there's still so many ways to have fun, to be playful and to get that sense of enjoyment and accomplishment from movement. So when you're ready, let's get into it. Let's begin lying down and you want to make sure that you've got whatever soft prop you're working with, whether it's a cushion or a blanket close by, so you can just grab it when we need it in the second half of the class. So as you lie down, hug your left knee into your chest. And you can let both of your ankles relax so the feet can go a little bit floppy. Just begin to draw that thigh in closer to your belly. So you begin to feel a stretch in the left side groin area. Start to deepen your breath. Good, then keep your left hand on your leg and reach your right arm overhead and start to roll onto the right side of your body. Then keep rolling onto your belly. You can lower the left knee down as you turn to face the front of your mat. Lower the forearms down so you're coming into this variation of Sphinx pose. Depending on your injury, you can let your foot rest on the ground or you could just keep your foot lifting up so there's more internal rotation in the thigh. And from here, just press through the forearms, lift your chest, roll your shoulders back. Inhale here. Exhale here. Now reach your right arm out to the right side and then roll onto the right side of your body and you can pick that leg up and you can either just keep the leg hovering in the air or place the foot behind you. So go wherever feels okay for your feet. Take a deep breath in here. Long exhale out. We'll move back to that first position. So roll onto your belly, bring your knee to the side, come back to your forearms, inhale, broaden your chest. Exhale it out. Reach your right arm out to right side, then roll onto the side of your body. Transition back to that second pose. And if you'd like to go further this time, the left arm can wrap around the body to find a bind. Deep breath in here. Exhale it out. Last time, coming back to that first position. This time, if you'd like to go a bit further, you can come up onto your hands, lift the chest a little higher so it's more of a cobra than a sphinx. A deep breath in. Exhale it out. Last time, come back to that second position. Again, if you'd like to go further, left arm wraps behind the back. Take a full breath in. Exhale it out. Come and roll onto your belly, straighten both legs. And then roll onto the left side of your body. Reach the left arm out to left side and place the right foot behind you. Or you could just hover the foot in the air if you need to. So starting with our second position first on this side as we're just reversing the flow. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. Roll onto your belly. Bring your right knee to the right side. Find your sphinx pose. Inhale, broaden your chest. Relax your shoulders. Exhale it out. Reach left arm out to left side, roll back onto your side. This time, if you'd like to go further, right arm can wrap behind the back. Inhale here. Exhale here. Coming back to that first position, roll onto your belly. Find your sphinx, deep breath in. Exhale it out. 
Last time for that second position. So again, if you'd like to go further, wrap the right arm behind your back, hold for a breath in. Exhale it out. Good, coming back to that sphinx. Or if you'd like to go one further, come up onto the hands for cobra. Really broadening the chest here for one more breath in. Exhale it out. Good, now come down onto your belly. Roll onto the left side and you're going to hug your right knee into your chest. So just like at the beginning of class. Draw that thigh in closer to your belly so you start to feel that stretch in the right side groin area. Hold for a deep breath in. Exhale it out. Good. Hug your left knee in to meet your right. And then you can keep both hands on the knees. Just start to circle the knees away from you and then draw them in closer. So we start to get a little bit of rotation through the hip joint. Good. Then cross your right leg over your left. Bring your hands to the front of your right knee, so the knee that is on top, and draw your thighs in close to your belly. If you want, you could also reach to take a hold of the left knee as well, if that makes it easier to draw the knees in close. Hold for an inhale. And with your exhale, roll onto your left. Start to uncross your legs as you roll onto your belly. Keep your knees bent here and find this sphinx position. And if this is already quite challenging, you can stay here or if you'd like to go one further, lift your right knee so the right thigh comes off the mat. Reach your left arm up and forwards. So really press the floor away as you hold. Good, lower the knee, lower your forearm. Roll back onto your left side and then come back onto your back. And this time you'll cross the left leg over the top of the right. Again, just hug your knees into your chest. Deep breath in. And with your exhale, roll to the left as you uncross your legs. Keep your knees bent. Find this sphinx position to begin. If you need to edge yourself back on your mat, now's a good time to do so. And then you want to lift your left thigh, left knee off the mat, reach right arm up and forwards. And this can be really challenging for the hamstrings to keep that leg lifted, so just stay with me, a few more breaths. Wonderful, lower the thigh, lower the forearm. Roll to your right side, come back onto your back. We're gonna repeat that sequence two more times. So right leg crosses over left. Hug your knees, hug your thighs in close to your body. Nice big breath in. And on your exhale, uncross the legs as you roll left. Finding that sphinx position to begin. And this time right leg lifts, left arm lifts and you hold. So really strengthening the erector spinae, your spinal extensors here. And release, roll to the left as you come back onto your back. This time left leg crosses right, hug your knees into your chest, hold for a breath in. Exhale it out, uncross the legs as you roll right, come onto your belly. So lots of rolling in today's class. As you find your modified sphinx, this time left leg lifts, right arm lifts, hold it there. If your leg starts to cramp at any time, that's okay, just lower the leg, it will relax. But see if you can challenge yourself. So even though you're injured, you can still challenge yourself. Hold for another breath in. Exhale and release, roll back onto your back. We've got one more of these, but this time we're adding on. So cross your legs right over left, hug your knees into your chest, hold for a breath in. Exhale, uncross the legs as you roll to the left. Find this sphinx position to begin. And this time lift your right leg 
and reach your left arm back behind you. If the foot is in with reach and you can actually hold your foot, if it's not going to hurt you, catch the foot. If not, you just stay here. If you can catch the foot and it feels okay, press the foot into your hand. So you start to open the left side of your chest. Holding for three, two, and one, release, roll back onto your back, let's switch sides, so left leg crosses over right, hug your knees into your chest, nice big breath in, exhale it out as you roll to the right, and once you've found your sphinx, this time left leg lifts, right arm reaches back, just as I said, choose the variation that works with your injury, if you're catching the foot, press the foot into your hand. Just be super mindful of your ankle, of putting too much pressure there. And we'll hold for three, two, and one. Slowly release, roll back onto your back. Hug both knees into your chest. And again, you can just circle the knees out to the sides and then draw them in towards the midline of the body. Just a really great movement to reset in between each sequence. Wonderful. Then when you're ready, roll onto your side and we're going to come up into a tabletop. So if you know that you have sensitive knees, place something under your knees. It could be a cushion, it could be a blanket. If you know that you need to keep your feet elevated, then you could either just keep the feet lifted or again, place something under your feet. Then from here, come up onto tented fingers. And we'll start with our cow pose. So arching the back, letting the belly sink down. Take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, push the floor away, round the spine, bring chin to chest. Inhale as you arch through cow pose. Exhale, round the back into cat. Continue to move through this at the pace of your own breath. So you're finding your own flow. Wonderful. One more. And find a neutral spine. Keep your hips stacked on top of your knees and then walk your hands forwards. Start to sink your chest down into puppy pose. And as you come down, you can rest the forehead or the chin on the mat. Choose whichever variation you feel most stable in. And start to slow down your breath. Breathing in deeply through the nose, and then a smooth exhale through the nose or mouth. Two more breaths like this. You can start to make your exhales really audible if you're breathing through the mouth. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out. Keep your hands where they are. Then I want you to start to lift your back and then ripple your body forwards. So you're keeping this round in the spine as you shift forwards, then lower your thighs and your hips and then your forearms down. So it's a nice rippling motion. We'll move through that a few more times if it felt a little strange the first time, so don't worry about it. Then from here, start to bend both knees and then hover your forearms off the mat. So we're looking to build some active flexibility here. I know it's challenging to breathe when you're balancing on your belly, so try your best. Holding for three, two, one. Good, lower your forearms, you can extend your legs. And then we will ripple back up and into that puppy pose. So starting with the hips here, start to round your low back and then lift as you press back to start sinking your chest. Lower your chin, lower your forehead, whatever works. 
hold for a deep breath in exhale it out now start to round your back as you ripple forwards shift your weight forwards as you lower the thighs then the hips then the forearms to find your sphinx then bend your knees this time i want you to walk your hands back behind you if this is challenging just keep your fingertips pressing into the mat for support if you're really looking for a challenge today then reach the arms back so an active bow pose again holding for three two one okay extend the legs bring your forearms back then starting with the hips think of tilting your pelvis so you're tucking your tail between your legs start to round as you lift your low back and then press back to sink the chest return to puppy pose one more of these deep breath in exhale it out round your upper back as you ripple forwards lower your thighs hips belly and forearms then last one of these bend your knees this time you can reach your arms back as if you were trying to reach for your feet if you can catch the feet and it's okay for you go here and start to press the feet into your hands if not just stay wherever feels within reach again holding for three two one slowly release come back to your forearms and then let's ripple back up but this time we'll come all the way up into tabletop so as your hips stack your knees come back to the hands and if you aren't working with a prop just yet, I really recommend grabbing a, a pillow or something soft like so and just place it right at the back of your mat. It will become apparent why you need that in a sec. And I want you to shift your weight onto the right side of the body and extend your left leg and you can just rest your left foot on that prop and start to stack the left hip on top of the right so you're opening the hips to the side of the room and then reach left arm overhead and I want you to really press the floor away so you're lifting the left side of your rib cage up so you start to get this deep side stretch then you can relax your head breathe deeply here Good, then slightly different now. Reach your left arm up and then lift this left leg. See if you can lift the foot as high as the level of your hips. So I know you might be feeling a little wobbly now and that's okay. Just stay with me for three, two, one. Then last little challenge here, bend your left leg and reach your left hand back. And you're either just reaching without holding or you're actually holding onto the foot. If you've got a hold, start to press your foot into your hand and puff out your chest forward. So we've got a lot of back bends in today's class. Again, breathe steady. Hold for three, two, one. Slowly release with control so nothing is pinging back. You're always moving with awareness. Lower the foot to your support and lower the left hand down as you turn your body to face forwards. And then you can bend your left knee. You may just want to shuffle your prop over to the left side now as we switch sides. Then extend your right leg back. Start by stacking right hip on top of left. And then reach left arm overhead. Think of lifting the right side rib cage up. So you find that deep side body stretch. Push the floor away and steady your breath for three, two, and one. Good, reach your right arm up and then lift the right leg. Think of lifting the hip as the foot as high as your hip. Again, holding steady. I know it's getting shaky now. Last two breaths here. 
Wonderful. Then our final challenge, bend the right leg, reach your right hand behind. You're either just hovering hand and foot or you're catching the foot. If you're there, press your foot into your hand, puff out your chest, holding for three, two, one. Release with control. So move slowly, lower the foot, lower the hand, turn to face forwards and then lower your right knee down. Awesome. You can just edge your prop out to the side. You won't need it now. Then come and lie down on your belly and then lie on the right side of your body. And as you do this, you can create a support for your head as we're just focusing on the left, uh, on the lower body. So start to lift your left knee and hug the knee into your chest. And you're looking to keep your hips open here. So instead of being closed and drawing it in this way, think of lifting your knee up to the side, more towards your shoulder. And as you do this, you might notice that your body is also working to keep you balanced here. So start to activate your core. So you find that stability. And then bring your hand to the back of your knee and extend the leg up. And you can start to ease your hand down the back of your leg. So you draw that leg in a little bit closer. We get a nice hamstring stretch here. If it is okay for your foot, you can flex your foot here. And as you do this, you will get more intensity into the stretch. So begin to breathe deeply here. Holding for one more breath in. Exhale it out. You can slowly release that leg down and then we'll roll onto the other side. So lying on the left side, support your head if you need to. And then bend that right knee in towards your shoulder. So we're keeping the hips nice and open here. And you can just add a little bit of pressure with the right hand to ease your knee in. Start to slow down your breath. Remember to keep your core active. Then bring your hand to the back of your knee, extend your leg up, start to draw that leg in a little bit closer. And again, if it's okay for your ankle, flex the foot and you'll feel that calf muscle switch on straight away as soon as you do that. It really changes things when we activate the feet. Keep your breath steady, holding for three, two, one, and release. Nice. Come and lie on your back from here. And then you can bend your knees, rest your feet on the floor or on a support if you're working with one. And cross your left ankle over the top of your right knee. If you need to be careful of that ankle, just make sure it's not directly on the knee, but it's over the knee. Then pick up your right leg, bring your hands to the back of your right thigh and start to hug both legs in towards your chest. At the same time, press the left knee away from you. So you start to get a deep external rotation through the left thigh. Keep your breath deep as we start to slow things down. Release your legs, lower the left foot. This time cross right ankle over left knee. Again, just being careful of the ankle. And lift your left leg, bring the hands to the back of your left thigh and hug your legs in close. At the same time, press your right knee away from you.
Okay, release the legs down and then you can go ahead and straighten out both legs. Let your arms relax by your side as we settle in for a few moments rest. Notice if any of your muscles are tensed in any way or if you could slightly adjust your body to feel more relaxed. And if you notice there's an opportunity for that, then please make any adjustments you need to. If your mind is wandering, just focus on a deep inhale and a smooth exhale. So you redirect your focus back to your breath. Stay here for as much or as little time as you feel you need. Thank you so much for joining me for this class. I hope that you feel accomplished and like you got something out of it despite your injury. There are still so many ways to move, to be challenged to find that sense of enjoyment and movement again. Thank you again for your time. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for class. If you are working with an injury at the moment and you're wondering how you're gonna get through your recovery and still be able to move, I have got quite a few other no fee yoga classes. So if you enjoyed this one, please go and check out the others. They are just, if not more creative than this one uh, was. So there's definitely lots of ways to keep you entertained during your injury. And if you did enjoy them, please don't forget to subscribe because it really supports my channel. Thank you again for your time. I hope to practice again with you soon.